Welcome. I'm going to show you how to edit the flat lay throw pillow mock up bundle in Photoshop. So first of all, once you have the mock up open in Photoshop, make sure you can see the layers panel. If you don't see the layers panel, just go to Window, Layers to bring it up. To place your design, you want to click this little arrow in the pillow layer group to expand that. And then you'll see this layer that says like design hyphen. You want to double click the thumbnail icon in that layer to bring up the smart object where you can copy and paste your design. And then go to File, Open, and find your design. And you want to go to Select All, Edit, Copy, and then click back on the Smart Object tab and go to Edit, Paste to paste your design. And you may need to size it up or down. So to do that, go to Edit, Free Transform. And then in the newest versions of Photoshop, you just want to click on one of the corners and just drag it in or out to make the design bigger or smaller. In older versions of Photoshop, you used to have to hold down the Shift key to keep the design proportional as you were scaling it. So if you're scaling it and you see it getting distorted just go to edit undo and then uh, just redo whatever you just did doing the opposite either holding down the shift key or not holding it down and then once your design is placed and scaled you can just go to file save to save it And then once it's done saving, just click the little X in the Smart Object tab to close it. And then you can close the original design too, and it'll have placed it on the pillow just like that. Depending on how dark your design is, you might feel like you want more shading on the pillow. So if you want the shading to be a little bit darker, just click the box next to the More Pillow Shading layer to turn that on and you'll see the eye icon get clicked on. And then you can make the shading um, darker or less pronounced if you want to by clicking on the More Pillow Shading layer. And then click the down arrow next to Opacity. And you can just drag the slider to the right to make the shading darker or the left to make it more subtle. You can also change the color of the pillow so we'll click this eye icon next to the design to hide it temporarily. And to change the color of the pillow, you just want to double click the thumbnail icon in this color-pillow layer. And that's going to bring up the color picker. Um, you can select a color by clicking this little rainbow slider here. And you can change the brightness or darkness of that color by clicking inside this uh, big box here. You could also enter the color values if you know them. And then once you have a color you like, you can just click OK. If you want to adjust the shadows underneath the pillow, you can do that by clicking the arrow in this pillow shadows layer group. And then you can click on either the line shadow right underneath it or the uh, cast shadow. And you can click the down arrow next to opacity and just drag the slider to the right or left to change the darkness of the shadow. <clears throat> you can also change the color of the background. To do that, just click the arrow next to the backgrounds layer, then click the arrow next to the fabric background layer, and then uh, you'll see this color dash layer. That'll let you choose your own color, or you can use one of these pre-built colors. To use a pre-built color, just click the arrow in the pre-built colors layer group to expand that. And you can just click the eye icons next to each layer to toggle through the different color backgrounds. If you decide you want to use your own color instead, just click the box next to the color-fabric layer to turn that on. And then double click the thumbnail icon in the color-fabric layer to bring up the color picker.
and then just you know, click on the rainbow slider and then click in this box or enter a color value and then click OK. You can even uh, add more shading to the, the background by clicking the box next to more fabric shading to turn that layer on. And you can click on the more fabric shading layer and adjust the opacity by clicking the down arrow next to opacity and dragging the slider to the right or the left. And if you want a version that has just a white background, you could click the eye icon in the fabric background layer group to turn that off. And then click the um, box next to white background to toggle that on. And uh, after you've got your design placed and the colors changed, you're going to want to save it. So to save it uh, as a thumbnail for use on websites like Etsy, you want to go to File, Save As. And then you're going to want to save a JPEG. You could also save the layered Photoshop uh, file if you want to keep that on file. You know, maybe if you want to, you know, just type a new name up here just to save a version of each of your different designs. And that's all there is to uh, editing the flat lay throw pillow mock-up bundle in Photoshop. If you have any questions, please let me know by messaging me at melissabmockups.com. And please don't forget to like and subscribe so you get updates to future videos. And as always, this mock-up and other mock-ups are available at melissabmockups.com. Thank you.